Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Starseed with a message for the Collective Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Welcome and thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a timeless reading. It is a general message and it is a reading for all zodiac signs, you guys. So please remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for entertainment purposes only, you guys. Always use your discernment. If you know, you know. Y'all, let's tap in to your reading and see what is going on for the collective we are going to take a look at the current energy surrounding your union. Also, we're going to take a look at what your person's intentions are and what's ahead. So again, always take what resonates and leave the rest. Y'all, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude. Paula Santos as well, y'all. Thank you for joining me on this journey of enlightenment and love. You guys, let's go ahead and hop in and see what is going on for the collective. So, as always, please remember to only take what resonates with you. What does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her people, places, things. And let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why and see what's going on for the collective. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this reading, during this message. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. I'm picking up your person's current energy, separation I feel like sacri I'm seeing sacrifice, something to do with making a sacrifice or something changing here. Sacrifice came out. I'm also seeing obsession and retreat. So there's someone that's spending a lot of time alone during your separation or no contact, okay? I feel like what this person's beginning to feel during separation is definitely a surprise. It's like I'm seeing someone is definitely taking time, reflecting, being alone. Yeah, but it's like I'm seeing obsessive type of thoughts or something like that, right? So someone's watching, spying, something like that is what I'm getting. But they're really, it's like they're willing to make the sacrifice now is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, it's like what they're beginning to feel, they're willing to change or something like that. There's a shift here. Mm-hmm. Wow. You guys, this is someone that's like in hermit mode. Yeah, this is someone in hermit mode, you guys, is what I'm picking up on. What else we got? Oh, thinking about you heavily. So, I'm seeing manifestation. This is someone heavily thinking about you is the energy I'm getting. Realizing you're their divine counterpart. Okay. So this is someone that's definitely tapping into a... Um, they're tapping in. They're seeing there's a stronger connection. This is someone that's had a lot of time to think. This is a shift, right? Right. But I'm also picking up on some energy of this person being like, and I've been picking up on this energy a lot lately with divine masculines, but it's like this take charge or definitely um, taking control, not being controlling, but just accountability is what I'm getting. But there's definitely this person, their thoughts become things, right? I'm seeing heavy manifestation when it comes to you. So this is someone that's been spending a lot of time alone. And I feel like this could be something to where as you may think this person is actually um, out living their best life. This person could have appeared to be a player or could have been a player in the past, right? But there's they're manifesting you. I'm seeing a very deep connection here, divine counterpart. This person realizes the soul connection that you guys share. Please give us more for the collective. Thank you. 
see working through issues gracefully. So this person is hoping for forgiveness from you. But I feel like this person actually acted in a manner to where as they were maybe nonchalant, acted like they didn't care, had a poker face, right? You couldn't really read this person's emotions, but they recognize. This person recognizes the strong connection that you guys have now during separation. So it's like this was necessary because now this person is realizing, oh, they're realizing twin flame energy, you guys. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm picking up on divine counterparts, right? A spiritual, there's a deep spiritual connection here, y'all. And it's causing a shift with this person. Oh, wow, a past life connection. That's what I'm seeing here, right? So it's definitely, um, you've left an impression I'm getting on this person, okay? But that player energy is coming up. So it's like this person, they were in between worlds or, you know, there were other energies. There weren't clear boundaries with their past. It's something like that is what I'm getting. But what this person's beginning to feel during separation is a game changer. Heavy past life connection. I keep getting that card, right? You guys, ooh. So this is a separate, uh, this separation is necessary. I'm seeing endings that bring happy new beginnings. I'm seeing moving forward, forward movement. Yep. Yeah. And I'm also seeing a protected connection, right? So it's like you're, I'm seeing angelic protection, spirit guides, right? Ancestors. Ciao. What else we got here, y'all? Ooh. Somebody's cleaning house. They clean in house. So remember I said those boundaries that this person didn't have in place. I'm picking up on something like a player or something about past energy with this person. I'm seeing this person is letting go of old ways, right? So it's like they're beginning to feel. They're beginning to change. During this separation, I feel like this is going to shock you. This is like a totally different person tapping into their higher self, but they're letting go of old things, old items, old, huh, old relationships. Oh, your presence changed a lot with this person, Divine Feminine. I see that. Oh. What else we got? Ciao. What else we got? They're ready to resolve issues with you. Deeply in love with you. This person's realizing deep emotions that they carry for you. They want to take a leap of faith. Stepping into the unknown. So it's like this person wants to reconcile all of these feelings going on, it's like a sudden shift. They're beginning to feel these feelings during separation. And it's like this person, they're stepping into the unknown. Stepping into the unknown because it's like, I feel like you're cold. They know you're in that Queen of Swords energy. So they don't know how you're going to react is what I'm getting. But they're being drawn to take this leap of faith. They're being drawn to you, right? This divine masculine is being guided to back towards you, divine feminine. I'm seeing this. I'm picking up on realignment, right? A shift, okay? There's definitely a shift happening, guiding you guys back together to a romantic connection. So not just a friend zone, right? Or not just making amends and not, you know, not acting on it romantically. I'm picking up on a romantic connection. You're being realigned romantically with this person. Yeah. What else we got here? <laughs> They're getting the courage and the strength to come towards you. Remember I said that? That Queen of Swords energy? Oh, I'm picking up on that. But there's something to do... When I see that declutter card, right? So I feel like this person is definitely severing ties, cutting ties with their past, 
something to do with a past energy. So this could have been an ex, someone that was still, it's something to do with their past because it was like they were in between worlds. Please give us more for the collective. Wow. I'm seeing, look out for signs that this person is back in your energy or coming towards you. Yeah. Signs and synchronicities. You could be seeing angel number 222, angel number 555. You could be seeing angel number 1111 or 1010. Something coming to an end, a new beginning. I'm getting that Scorpio energy, you guys. Hmm. A necessary separation. Yes. This is why I'm masculine. I'm seeing like there's something to do with this person being blocked emotionally. Insecurities. Something to do with insecurities with you, Divine Feminine. Please give us more. But they're not accepting this separation. Ooh. They're not accepting this separation. Whoever this is, Divine Feminine, I'm getting what this person's beginning to feel during separation is causing them, um, it's giving them the courage to come towards you. But I don't feel like this person's ever accepted the separation as being final, right? This person never, they always planned on coming back towards you. They never let you go. This person's still attached to you. I'm seeing very dedicated to you in their own way. So behind the scenes, this person is still very much attached to you, okay? Now, this may be something that they're suddenly realizing. And right when I said that, I'm seeing, look, awakening. This person is awakening to their true emotions for you. And they're getting, I feel like, out of their own way. So they're in overcoming obstacles, yeah. So this person, I'm seeing their insecurities about you. This person never thought that they could maintain a connection with you is what I'm getting. Oh, wow. All right. Mm. What else we got? Please give us more. See, that's what I'm getting. It's like this person is willing to make the sacrifices. Also, this person is willing to put in the work. But the way things were left, right? There could have been a difficult ending, a lot of chaos and conflict, right? Is what I'm picking up on, right? So this person, that leap of faith, they feel like they're stepping into the unknown. And I feel like that scares this person. Yeah. Woo. This person's, I feel like, getting tarot readings or oracle readings. I'm seeing they want to put in the work with you, but they're also seeking spiritual knowledge, trying to learn more about this connection. Because there's an awakening here, and this person just, they want to learn why they feel the way they feel for you, why they're so attached to you. Remember, I picked up on that player energy, right? So this is someone that I feel like has never truly been attached to anyone. But there's an awakening now that you pulled your energy back, right? Yeah. What else we got? Wisdom. See, that's what I'm getting. This person trying to learn more about this connection, but they're also putting boundaries in place with these other energies. Yeah. Y'all. Hmm. Communication. You're about to be in communication with this person. There's about to be communication. Yeah. What else we got? An abundant new beginning. Wow, Divine Feminine, get ready because there's a shift. Again, I feel like this person's definitely been in hermit mode. They're doing introspection. This is someone that's doing introspection. They're doing a lot of inner work is what I'm getting. Yeah. This is someone doing a lot of inner work, doing a lot of introspection. So this separation was necessary for an awakening for this person, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. 
Let's go ahead and tap in here. I want to get more information, you guys. Please remember, as always, to take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what is, what is, what's here for the collective? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more information for this reading. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Wow. Okay, so I am seeing, we have the Two of Cups that came out here. I'm getting a Divine Union. Mm-hmm. This is a divine union, okay? So I'm seeing a deep connection. Oh, I'm seeing a victory here. Uh-huh. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. This is what you don't see. So there is a major shift happening with this person behind the scenes. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, there is, there's a major shift happening with regards to this Divine Union, this Divine Partnership behind the scenes. You guys are being guided back to each other. I'm picking up on Pisces Energy here, okay? So we got Pisces Energy. Wow. All right. Pisces energy, hidden, something hidden, hidden emotions. This was someone that wasn't very open with their emotions, Divine Feminine. Wow. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that Four of Wands energy here. I feel like this person is definitely, um, this is someone that is, they're reminiscing, they're thinking, they're heavily imagining a long-term union with you with this four of wands. Remember I said that angel number 1111 tapping into the signs and synchronicities? Yeah. This person is manifesting. And we see manifestation earlier. This is going on behind the scenes. Divine Feminine. This could be, you could be feeling, <clears throat> you could be feeling an energetic pull to this person. I'm seeing, we have the sun card. We also have the seven of swords. Okay, so this person has had... This person has hid their emotions. This is someone that has not been um, very vulnerable, not being very open with you about your their emotions when you were together. And then this person was operating in between two worlds, off and on, back and forth, right? Lower vibrational energy is what I'm getting. But there's still a very strong attachment. And this divine masculine is definitely... I'm getting, they're, they're tapping in to, this is a master manifester. This is someone that's awakened. And I feel like you can pick up intuitively on this person's thoughts, their feelings. They're imagining a future with you. They're imagining a long-term connection with you, Divine Feminine. Happy times ahead. Why is the Seven of Swords showing up? Please give us more. Why is the Seven of Swords showing up? Mm. I'm seeing they want to rebuild. So... The Three of Pentacles working together, right? I'm seeing working together, coming together to rebuild this connection. This is someone that is in deep despair. And honestly, I was picking up on like this energy, like someone just not being themselves, right? So they're not the best version of themselves without you, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. Four of Swords energy. Yeah. What else we got? Mmm. And I'm seeing a new and abundant beginning. There's someone interfering here. 
there's someone interfering because with that seven of swords, I'm definitely getting the energy of someone interfering, something hidden, right? Someone interfering with the new beginning, the full card here, okay? So this is the same person that interfered that caused you to walk away. There's someone from their past that they're very jealous. I'm getting, look, this Leo energy here. This is someone that's very jealous of the, I feel like the influence and all, the influence of your love on this person. Because during separation, this person's been in hermit mode. This could be because this person did not, it, because this person walked away from you with the Eight of Cups and then also the Fool card. Because this person walked away from you, Divine Feminine, I'm getting, someone thought that there was going to be a new and abundant beginning, but this Divine Masculine is still attached to you. So someone's very disappointed. And that's where I'm getting the Seven of Swords. So it's like there's some trickery, deceit, betrayal, deception. Oh. Okay, so I'm getting really good energy here. Really good energy with... I'm seeing the Lover's card and also the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? So really good energy with that. Um... The Gemini energy showing up, but I'm seeing very good karma surrounding a romantic connection between you and your person. And somebody's out in the cold and brokenhearted because of that. Ah. Oh. So this is who's behind the scenes with the trickery and the deceit. Okay. This divine masculine is still... Attached to you during separation and high priestess energy. You're being guided to take a second look. Now, you guys, please remember to only take what resonates, right? So you're being guided to take a second look. Whomever this is resonating with, I'm seeing the high priestess card. I feel like you're still attached to this person as well. That could be what guided you to this reading, Divine Feminine. This is someone that you wanted a future with as well, whomever this is resonating with. The Hierophant card. But this person had a lot of growth. There was a lot of growth that was required of this person. Okay? Now, I'm seeing here deep despair, disappointment, over what this person has lost. So this person's beginning to feel, what this person's beginning to feel during separation is changing a lot. It is changing everything is what I'm getting. And they want to take action. This is someone that wants to take action to break no contact. Please give us more. Yeah, this is someone that wants to take action. Mm-hmm. Wow. Please give us more for the collective. You got a love offer coming in. The Knight of Cups. Somebody's going to be very charming. This person is going to be very charming coming back towards you. So they are going to take this leap of faith. I'm seeing that with the chariot card, cancer energy, okay? So that chariot card definitely gives me the energy of someone taking a leap of faith, right? They don't know what to expect, right? This person is not sure how you're going to respond. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding this. But this person has also, with the three of wands, I'm seeing what you don't see is that this person has definitely turned their back yeah, they've turned their back on the past or whatever it was or whomever it was. There's someone is what I'm picking up on because I feel like there's someone, there's some trickery and deceit because this divine masculine is still locked in with you, divine feminine. And this divine masculine is also still, I'm getting, 
They're only focused on you even during separation. So there is like a karmic or a third party or something like that. A karmic third party, a messy energy, a lower vibrational energy that thought that they were going to be in union with this divine masculine with you being out of the picture but you, this divine masculine has been in hermit mode is what I'm getting. And now this divine masculine is turning their back on their past or something like that. Yeah. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective growth. Remember I said at the beginning of the reading, because I'm seeing the emperor card here. That this person, there's growth here. This is an emperor. This is someone very, um, because the emperor is like a boss or somebody, a very authoritative type of energy, very strong presence, right? Not somebody that's like, you know, off and on, hot and cold, wishy-washy. No, this divine masculine has learned during this separation what they really want and it's you and they've made the choice and standing on business somebody's very jealous they want an abundant beginning with you divine feminine six of cups they're turning it into a reality what they have been imagining what they've been focusing on is what i'm getting with regards to you and this union, Divine Feminine, they have, they're turning their thoughts into reality, right? This person's been fantasizing about you. They're turning these fantasies into reality with you, Divine Feminine. Wow. It's harvest time. We got the Nine of Pentacles. True feeling surfacing and it's true love. I got justice. And the star card here, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, this divine masculine is like... They're leaving some toxic energy behind divine feminine. We have the, the devil card showing up, right? So that's definitely giving that toxic, controlling, codependent energy. And I feel like that's speaking to their past. This divine masculine's past when it comes to you. This divine masculine's no longer trying to suppress their emotions. They're no longer insecure about how they feel. This divine masculine realizes you're their divine counterpart. So I'm seeing here they're turning their back on this toxic energy and this karmic third party found that out during separation because normally it's like this divine masculine I feel like was a player so they were like you know non-committal you know from person to person type of energy but this divine masculine didn't take the bait during separation with this karmic third party and I feel like that's where the trickery and deceit is coming in Capricorn energy. We also have Aquarius energy. You could be a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Yeah. Ciao. You guys are coming back into balance. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy, right? After this tower card, getting back on the right track, Knight of Pentacles, Tower card coming into balance. You're going to be getting communication, right? You're going to be getting communication. And I feel like it's going to be a leap of faith. Because with the Knight of Swords, how this person's rushing in. So it's not even like... This person's taking time to think about what they're going to say. They're just coming. This person's going to be acting out of emotion. This person's definitely going to be acting out of emotion, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting coming towards you. Yeah, with that Knight of Swords. 
Ciao. There it is. I'm seeing the magician card. This person's been manifesting you. You should be able to, I'm getting, you should be picking up on that energy. Mm-hmm. Telepathically, your intuition, you're thinking about this person more often. This person's popping up in your thoughts. You're seeing signs and synchronicities. The magician card. Wow. Okay. There's a lot shifting with this person. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Oh. Oh taking action. They're making plans. This person, there's changes. I'm seeing baby steps. Look at that. Making plans, baby steps. Wow. You guys. Making plans and baby steps. Look at that. For a new beginning. That's for a new beginning. I'm seeing judgment. So I'm seeing the phoenix rising. Um, I'm seeing... Um, I'm getting Phoenix rising. I'm getting baby steps. This person, I feel like this person wants to rush back in. They just need to be in your energy, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. They just need to be in your energy. But once this person gets back in your energy, it's like they want to take the time to rebuild this foundation. Wow. Wow. This has been a major shift for this person. A major shift. And I'm definitely getting a cup of love. That major, I'm getting the Ace of Cups. And this person trying to find their way back towards you, right? But I feel like this person's getting the courage to take a leap of faith. So what this person's beginning to feel during separation is definitely going to shock you. But also, too, with the Ace of Cups, this is an abundant, loving new beginning. And I feel like, Divine Feminine, you're definitely feeling these emotions as well. Whomever this is resonating with. So somehow, you're being triggered. Your intuition is kicking in. You guys are definitely tapped into one another. Yeah. And I'm seeing this. An abundant... This is like the Ace of Cups. That's like that unconditional love. Just true love. Genuine love. Cup running over, right? This divine masculine learned what true love was with you. Ciao. Mmm. You guys, let's pull some more cards and see what we get here, y'all. Let's get some more cards here and see what we get in for the collective. This is something else, y'all. It's like a whole, a complete change. I feel like this is something completely unexpected. Oh, please give us more for the collective. What's this? Oh, see, I just seen the five of swords. This divine masculine's boundaries are going in place. Boundaries are definitely going in place. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Oh, wow. I got King of Cups. This Divine Masculine is so in love with you. And I feel like this Divine Masculine is just now really realizing how much and coming to terms with these feelings. These emotions scared this Divine Masculine in the past. Yeah. But they went through the deep introspection. I'm seeing the inner work. So I'm seeing two of swords here, y'all. 
Yeah. This Divine Masculine went through... Oh, this could have been a dark night of the soul because these emotions were definitely hidden in the past is what I'm getting. Yup. What else we got? Mmm. Three of Cups. Third party energy. Karmic energy. And there's the Seven of Swords. So that's what I was picking up on before, you guys. Yeah. The Three of Cups. You see that? We got the Three of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So there is a karmic third party. A sneaky energy in the background, right? Of this connection. Because they know... They realize the connection that is shared between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. That Queen of Pentacles. And there's a loving offer coming back towards you. They realize the transformation that's happened with this Divine Masculine. Major transformation. I'm seeing the death card here, right? So there's been a major transformation during this separation. And that's what this karmic third party is seeing. Because this divine masculine did not come out to play. Not this time. This separation triggered an awakening with this divine masculine. This separation triggered an awakening with this divine masculine, divine feminine. Yup. Please give us more for the collective. Ciao. What else we got? It triggered an awakening and I'm seeing the two of cups. It triggered this awakening for this divine masculine to see that this is a divine partnership. Because remember I was saying this divine masculine is trying to get knowledge understanding concerning this connection now they realize that you're their wish fulfillment and they want this connection so this divine masculine been focused on fighting for this connection with you divine feminine during this separation they've been focused on that they ain't focused on this karmic third party and they broken hearted. This divine masculine's broken hearted and hurt over this separation. I feel like it's you guys mirror one another's energy. Whomever this is resonating with, I feel like this has been um, a difficult cycle for you as well, divine feminine. But I'm seeing here with that three of swords. This karmic third party is losing it out in the cold. Child, they on the outside looking in because they realize, look, mm, the ace of cups, y'all, this abundant loving new beginning that's happening with you. They thought that this new beginning was going to be happening with them. Uh-uh. This divine masculine is here for the queen of cups. Queen of Cups showing up here, y'all. Yeah. The Queen of Cups is showing up. And y'all, are. I'm seeing back in balance. Child, this karmic third party is burden. Ooh. I'm seeing burden by this. So... There could definitely, there's some type of manipulation. I feel like there's a, some type of, I was just getting ready to say seduction. And here's the lover's card, y'all. Yeah, so I'm picking up this karmic third party. There's something to do with them trying to um, get this divine masculine to come towards them. But this, I feel like, this divine masculine's just been in hermit mode all about you. It's not happening. This divine masculine's taking a leap of faith. This divine masculine is they're only they're only focused on you. 
And what I'm getting is like, that's why it's like, this divine masculine won't be able to find their words. They might, it might seem like, you know, they're fumbling over their words. It may even seem like this divine masculine is love bombing you when they come back towards you, divine feminine. Yeah. For this abundant new beginning. I'm getting the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. What else we got? Wow. Okay. This, this is why this Divine Masculine can't see or even they can't entertain anything coming from this karmic third party. And I do feel like this is someone from their past. This is an ex, right? Because I feel like there's some familiarity there. But I feel like this Divine Masculine is focused on that angel number 1111, four of wands with you, Divine Feminine. Yep. Mmm. Long-term commitment. They've seen things from a higher perspective. I'm seeing hangman here, right? Wow. Manifesting you. This is enchanting love. I'm getting... This person is in, this is an enchanted love. This is a very rare connection. The divine masculine has found that out. This karmic is like working overtime, right? Spying. I'm picking up on communication coming in, but I'm also picking up on a lot of spying. Here's a chariot card. That chariot card keeps coming up, right? So I'm picking up on that cancer energy, right? So you guys, there is, I'm getting the energy of definitely this person is taking a leap of faith. And again, it could feel like this person's not being genuine, but this is your person, whomever this is resonating with, because this could have already happened, okay? Okay. This could have definitely already happened to where is this person is coming towards you or making attempts to come towards you. But with the high priestess card showing up, it's like you're being guided to take a second look, right? Take a second look at this person. Because there's been, what this person's beginning to feel during separation, I feel like it's going to shock you. And there's also a lot of changes. Yes. Child, that cancer energy keeps coming up here. Please give us more for the collective. Yeah. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Mm-hmm. Here's that three of wands again. This divine masculine's turn their back. Yeah. And they want to rebuild things with you. And they're getting the courage and the strength to come back towards you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. There it is. Again, very good karma. Very, very good karma. This Divine Masculine wants this connection. They want you. Chow. They want you. You are the wish fulfillment. Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy. Please take it how it resonates. Y'all. You are the wish fulfillment. You are. Yep. What else we got? Hmm. There's a lot of changes, and I feel like with the moon card that keeps coming up, it's like that Pisces energy. This is hidden. This is an unexpected change, an unexpected shift with this person, okay? And it literally, this person is only focused on you, and this karmic third party can't understand, but there has been a transformation with this person. This divine masculine is tapping into their higher self. They are no longer in that low vibrational energy. And with that Leo energy, that that um, 
that strength card, right? You've tamed this person. You have tamed this person, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Ooh. Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more. Mm. A new beginning is happening. A new beginning is happening. And you are the treasure. This Divine Masculine has realized that you are the treasure. It's like the treasure at the end of the rainbow type of energy is what I'm getting. Yeah. This Divine Masculine realizes that. Locked in. Love offer. I feel like this, this karmic third party is trying to trap this divine masculine because they realize that, see, the divine masculine's been in hermit mode. They've been in hermit mode, true love, right? So they've been in hermit mode, Aquarius energy, because this is true love that you guys share, Right? So they've been in hermit mode this whole time. Chow. I got this little gnat flying around here. Monitoring spirits. Monitoring spirits. Chow. Somebody send in monitoring spirits. This karmic third party. Mm, some diabolical energy I'm picking up on here. Even in this reading, little gnat flying around here. Let's see here. I'm seeing here six of cups. And I'm also seeing, oh, this divine masculine is deeply, I feel like deep thoughts, imagining, hoping that you accept their love offer, right? Hoping that you still share the passion. This divine masculine is nostalgic for you. Ooh. Mmm. They miss your love. See, that's what I'm getting. You tame this player, right? This person's beginning, what this person's beginning to feel during this separation is a, a very strong soul connection. A very strong soul connection. They're recognizing it. It was there before, but now this divine masculine is recognizing this. That's what I'm seeing here, you guys. Yeah. What else we got? Huh, there's that toxic controlling energy. I'm getting the devil card here. The queen of swords. Because you're the yin to this divine masculine jang is what I'm getting. Yeah. Somebody wants to make sure. That's where I'm picking up on rumors. Monitoring spirits. This is somebody that's spying on you, Divine Feminine. This karmic third party is trying to dig up dirt on you. I feel like they're trying to stop this transformation, right? They're trying to stop you from coming in union with this Divine Masculine. Um, they realize, they know that the stars are aligning, right? Stars are aligning for you and Divine Masculine. You guys are coming back into realignment, okay? Okay. Um, I feel like this person is definitely working behind the scenes to make sure that you stay in that queen of swords energy. So something to do with planting seeds of doubt, rumors, lies, things like that to keep you in that queen of swords energy, divine feminine. Yep. Mm. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Wow. They trying to cause an ending before it even starts, before you guys even reconcile. Ten of Swords, right? 
Uh-uh. But things are happening quick. You guys are being brought back into balance very fast. I'm seeing here with the Eight of Wands. But definitely be careful of the information that you're getting regarding this divine masculine. Any rumors, anything that, you know, negative um, things that you're hearing about this divine masculine, definitely consider the source divine feminine because I'm definitely picking up on the seeds of doubt being planted because this karmic third party is very disappointed. They thought this divine masculine would come back towards them, that they would come back into union with this divine masculine. Nope, they're still out in the cold and they're trying to control this connection. So I'm seeing the five of pentacles, right? Because this divine masculine still locked in with the empress. That's you, divine feminine. Yes. Trying to trap this divine masculine. See, there's that eight of swords again. I keep picking up on that, right? Mm. They're trying to keep you from taking action. So it's like... They can't control this divine masculine coming back towards you. This divine masculine has been closed off to any other romantic interest since you guys have been in separation, divine feminine. But this third party is trying to keep you from taking action. So they're trying to plant seeds of doubt. There could be something going on with social media or something like that, right? To keep you spreading rumors, lies through media and things like that. Posts, fake accounts, right? Y'all. Tap into your high your higher self. There's the high priestess card. The high priestess card has come up twice here. So I'm getting that this you're being guided to. Tap into your higher self. Tap into your higher self. Um, take a second look, but follow your intuition. Following your intuition is going to be key here because there's a lot of messy energy going on here, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Following your own light, following your intuition. We've been seeing that with the Aquarius energy with the star card, right? Yeah, following your own light. True love is here. This person's realizing it in separation. Y'all. Cool. Let's pull. I want to pull a few romantic cards here really quick to see what we get. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Do not fill any voids, right? You could have other energy coming towards you. Remember I was picking up, seeing that little gnat. It's like monitoring spirits, right? People coming towards you out of the blue, trying to establish establish relationships or a um, rapport with you. This could be another masculine energy, somebody coming towards you um, for a romantic connection. Spirit is saying, avoid filling the void of being separated from this divine masculine. There's a lot of manipulation, a lot of illusions going on right now. I'm getting seek inner fulfillment first. What else we got? What else we got for the collective? Divine feminine, divine masculine. What else we got? Okay. Something's hidden. And that's just emo this divine masculine's emotions that are going to be revealed is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Something that's hidden. It's about to come out. You're about to get the truth. Secrets. Nurture this connection. And it will flourish. Y'all. Nurture your connection and it will flourish. Mmm, you guys, look at that. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy here, okay? So I'm getting to go follow your own life, follow your own intuition with this connection. Y'all, I cannot make this up. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.